Well, first up on the bulletin, the leader of opposition in the Lok Sabha, Rahul Gandhi, well, he has continued his onslaught against the Modi government. In fact, Rahul, who is on a three-day visit to United States, reflected on the post-2014 politics in India and has explained why the need was felt for him to take out the Bharat Joro Yatra. In fact, he has said that it was the only way left alleging that attack on the democratic structure of the country had been happening. There's muzzling of free media, controlling of institutions, and unleashing of agencies on opposition parties. In fact, this is not the only thing which caught attention. Well, yes, we yes. One another act of the LOP is now making headlines. Well, Rahul Gandhi, while he was in U.S., has met anti-India U.S. lawmaker Ilhan Omar. You can see Ilhan there on your screens. Well, the U.S. lawmaker, uh, in fact, this is a poster which was uh, posted as well, a picture where Rahul Gandhi as well as Ilhan Omar can both be seen sharing the same phrase. In fact, this is what BJP has to allege. After spewing venom against Sikhs and after denigrating Indian institutions on foreign soil, now Rahul Gandhi has done the unthinkable, meeting anti-India elements like Ilhan Omar, Ilan Omar got a resolution against India and the U.S. Congress. Ilan Omar has been spewing venom against India on Article 370. She visited POK, violated India's sovereignty at a time and that too sponsored by Pakistan. She met Imran Khan and discussed Islamophobia. She routinely pervades and perpetrates Hindu phobia and Hindu hatred. She takes a position which is contrary to India's position on Jammu Kashmir and backs the Pakistani position. Why does Rahul Gandhi have to meet her? But this is nothing new. Congress in its Modi Virod, in its BJP Virod, meets anybody and everybody, even if they are indulging in Desh Virod. This is the true face of the Congress, not the first time that they've done this. But the question is only this, that Priyanka Chaturvedi of the Uddhav Sena had said that this Ilan Omar is an element that one should be wary of. She had called her out. Now, Priyanka Chaturvedi, Uddhav Sena, do you support this meeting of Rahul Gandhi with Ilan Omar? Perhaps you should elaborate. This trip of Rahul Gandhi is nothing but a trip that is designed to rally anti-India forces only and only so that Rahul Gandhi can satisfy his lust to come to power. How can you go so low where you stand with elements like Ilan Omar? Adrani Rahul Ji ka videshi poshit mansikta ka jo jinn hai wo samay samay par videsh jane par unke antar man se nikal padta hai. उनका चाइना प्रेम उनका आ, अमेरिका प्रेम उनका हब इटली प्रेम या उनका वो स्वाभाविक प्रक्रिया है उनके रग रग में वो व्याप्त है और जिस प्रकार से उन्होंने चाइना की तारीफ करी है आश्चर्य होता है कि चाइना हमसे इस समय जो हमारी ग्रोथ रेट है भारत की वो चाइना से कहीं ज्यादा है जो हमारी ग्रोथ रेट है वो अमेरिका से कहीं ज्यादा है राहुल गांधी इसी लहान उम्र से मिले हैं ये सुरानी महिला है सुरान में जब गृह युद्ध हुआ था तो वहां से बतौर शरणार्थी अमेरिका आकर के बसी थी और ये लगातार एक तथाकथित हिंदू फोबिया के नाम पर एक कैंपेन चलाती हैं ऑयल प्रोड्यूसिंग कंपनीज है ओपेक कंट्रीज हैं उन कंट्रीज के पास जाती है उन कंट्रीज की फंडिंग लेती हैं तो ऐसे हिंदू विरोधी और हिंदुस्तान विरोधी लोगों से सांसदों से और संस्थाओं से राहुल गांधी विदेश की धरती पर मिलते हैं और उसके बाद जाने अनजाने भारत के मुद्दों पर भारत के हितों के खिलाफ बयान जारी करते हैं जिससे निश्चित तौर पर भारत के लोगों का दिल आहत होता है कांग्रेस पार्टी के षड्यंत्र के हम खिलाफ हैं In fact, let me go across to our reporters. Joining us today on the show, we have uh, Pradeep uh, Datta, also Mohit Bhatt joins us. Pradeep, I'm going to come to you first because it's important for us to understand the background of Ilhan Omar, for us to understand why today there's a political storm over the fact that she met Rahul Gandhi and the two of them were photographed together. Give us uh, the antecedents. Pradeep?
Can you hear me? Can you? The picture which has sparked off this massive storm of Rahul Gandhi having met Elhan Omar. Elhan Omar is the lady that you can see on your screens. She, of course, is of Somalian uh, descent and she had managed to secure asylum and she went to the United States. In fact, uh, this has become a massive political storm. In fact, let me try and go back across to Pradeep Datta. Pradeep, I was asking you about the antecedents of Elhan Omar and why it's a big deal that Rahul Gandhi met her. See, Rahul Gandhi's visit from day one has been embroiled in controversies, whether it was resorting to fear mongering so far as Sikh turban and Kada was concerned, or it was about batting for China. And here he is seen sharing the same space with Ilan Umar, and everybody knows that she is the proxy of the country that had always been waging war against. India because it was in 2022 uh, her trip uh, to Pakistan and then Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir was sponsored by Pakistani agencies. After coming home from that place, she started hitting out at India. She wanted a, a resolution to be brought against India. She wanted that India should be considered as a country of concern because if the um, religions like Muslims, Sikhs, Adivasis, farmers, they are not getting their due rights. And she had been trying to always portray India in bad light. Not only that, she also wanted the United States of America help Canada in getting investigation done so far as killing of terrorists, Hardeep Singh Nijjar is concerned. Not only that, she escaped Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit last time because she always tried to demonize Prime Minister Narendra Modi and it's raking up the issue of Islamophobia. And she had always been trying to take position that has been contrary to India. And that's one of the reasons that India had always expressed concern about when she went to POJK because POJK is part of India. And you can't go to that place. This is a violation of territorial integrity without taking permission from India. So somewhere she is working at behest of the forces, those who are waging war against India, that's one of the reasons. Everybody right now is asking question, why the Rahul Gandhi has to meet people like her? This is not first time that Rahul Gandhi had been seen rub rubbing shoulder with anti-India forces. Last time it was about uh, Vishwanathan, Sunita Vishwanathan, uh, another uh, person who had always been speaking against India, trying to wage war against the country, uh, churning out fa false narrative. So that's one of the reasons that people are asking these questions. And I think this is for the Rahul Gandhi to answer that why he has to bat for. Because on one hand, look at the contradiction. On one hand, he says, democracy is under threat but because he's trying to portray Prime Minister Narendra Modi in bad light. If democracy is under threat, that why you are batting for non-democratic uh, uh, regime uh, like that of China? Because he keeps on talking about China, how Chinese growth has taken place. Then he resorts to fear mongering. I had been talking to the Sikhs. I had been talking. My, I, myself being a Sikh, I never, so many, anybody has stopped me from wearing a turban. The only time I think that I'm a Sikh when I'm looking into mirror and tying a turban, that is the only time I feel I'm Sikh because everybody feels that they are Indian. But unnecessarily, he's trying to play that kind of a device your politics and that has not gone down with well even with the common man not to talk of the opposition party leader or the bjp see everybody will be playing politics over the issue but common man on the ground really understands.